Hello everyone and welcome back to Crack and Packs. JB here and today we're going to crack into a box of 2023 Tim Hortons Legends Hockey. So inside this set we're going to find 75 Legends from the NHL and 75 Legends from Canada Women's Hockey. Uh, so this is the you know first set from Tim Hortons of 2023, but the second set from this hockey season. It's kind of they've started this tradition of doing two sets a year, and uh, so this is their second set from this year. Anyone who's familiar with Tim Hortons hockey in the past, what we're going to find inside this box is a hundred packs with three cards per pack. There's going to be two base cards and one insert in each pack, and then there's going to be as far as inserts go. There's going to be a bunch of more common inserts, which by the end of this box, we're probably going to have almost all of those, if not all of them. Uh, but then there's going to be the more rare inserts. There's normally in the NHL set that comes out each year, There, the highest uh, rarity is a 1 in 24 kind of 3D lenticular uh, motion insert. Uh, so that's going to be the same here. There's going to be 1 in 24 packs. So... One of these boxes, you'll definitely get four of them, and if you're very lucky, you might get five, because it's slightly more than four per box. But similar to what they did with the World Junior Hockey a few years ago, where you had those five uh, Timbit cards that you could pull, uh, they have something similar in this set called World's Best. You can get Wayne Gretzky, Brett Hull, Nick Lidstrom, or Timus Lani, uh, or Haley Wickenheiser. And those are going to be one in 100. So you're only going to find one of those in the, one of these boxes. Uh, and, you know, unless you want to buy five full boxes, you're, you're going to have to find a way to, to get the rest of that set elsewhere. Now, as always, on top of the regular inserts and base cards, there's a bunch of redemption cards inside this set. Bunch of really nice looking redemption cards. Not going to go through the checklist because honestly, the odds are so astronomical. Oftentimes it's like one in 500,000 packs or whatever. So chances are very slim that we're going to see any of those. Uh, but if we do, hey, we'd love it. Um, all right. And so that is that. I'm going to try and go through these as quick as I can. 100 packs is a lot, but it's only three cards per pack. Uh, probably just going to need to move this box off to the side after I take some packs out here. And we'll kind of decide as we go um, whether or not I open all 100 here, depending on how long it's taking. And, uh, you know, as long as I get to the world's best, uh, that's really the probably the most interesting thing to see in here. Now, of course, um, you always want to watch every pack for the rare hopes that you do get one of those um, redemption cards I was talking about, but, you know, how likely is that? All right, so starting us off with this base, Patrick Roy, and this is a very fancy base for uh, the Tim Hortons cards. It actually, actually looks very similar to other years, uh, except it's a little gold, kind of like those gold itch etching inserts from the original. And we have a Jean Beliveau championship resume yeah so these cards are really neat because you can see across uh the banner here it puts every year that this player won the stanley cup and in the case of jean beliveau that was a lot of times and then our second legend is butch goring so that championship resume is one of the more common inserts there's dave anderchuk and we have a record books, Joe Sackick. Ninth in points all time is what it says on there. So record books is our second and Mike Medano. Don't normally focus on the players in the base sets when I'm doing these videos, but uh, just because it's a legendary set, a lot of these players are fun to see, even if it is just a base card. There's Lanny McDonald. And here's our world best already, and it is Haley Wickenheiser. So that's pretty exciting. I mean, obviously Wayne Gretzky is going to take the cake anytime he's here. Scott Gomez, anytime he's in uh, any sort of hockey lineup. But as far as these world bests go, I think Haley Wickenheiser would be number two on my list in terms of interest for my own personal collection. So there's our world best out of the way, and uh, since we're only three packs in, I guess we won't stop here. Probably keep going for a while. All 
All right, we've got a really old black and white picture of Glenn Hall. And a trendsetters, Bobby Hull. So trendsetters, we've opened four packs and we've got four different types of inserts. You're going to see a lot more of those uh, trendsetters, record books, and championship resumes as we go through here. There's Brad Richards, and here is another championship resume, Theo Fleury, just the one in 1989, and Ray Whitney. Pack number six. We got Joe Neuendijk. And oh yeah, here's another insert type. It's the UD Canvas Legends of Bobby Hull. So just like I always tell you in the flagship Upper Deck series, I really like the canvas inserts. That's no different. Jillian Apps. That's no different here in uh, Tim Hortons. I'm going to see if I can fix this lighting a little bit. Uh, just give me one second here. Alright, that looks a little bit better. Sorry, I didn't realize how dark it was in here. We've got Frank Mahovlich and our second record book, Ed Belfour, who is the fifth in wins all time. And there's Adam Oates. Here's Al McInnes and our first 3D. Legendary Celebrations, Bobby Clark, and then Danielle Goyette as our second base. So then the next interesting thing to figure out in this box is if we're going to have three more Legendary Celebrations, or if we have one of the lucky boxes that has four more. We've got another championship resume, Frank Mahavlich, Chris Pronger, and Bobby Clark. Ed Belfour, here's a Mano Rayom record book, two-time world champion winner. I think probably should mention the first woman playing in the NHL there somewhere on the card, but Angela James. We've got Jacques Plante and Angela James's trendsetter right after we get her base. And there is Andy Bathgate of the New York Rangers. Matt Sundin, and here's our second canvas, and it is Joe Sackick. And there's Catherine Ward. There's another Joe Sackick and Jacques Plante championship resume. And there's Menon Rayom's base card. We've got Cheryl Pounder. The record books for Mario Lemieux, second in goals per game all time. 
And there's Michelle Goulet. So like I said at the beginning, these uh, so the more common inserts here, the championship resume, the record books, the trendsetters, and the canvas. By the time we get to the end of this box, we're going to have pretty much a complete set of those. We'll probably complete three out of the four, and we'll be short, you know, two or three. Um, of the fourth, here is Charlene Labonté and Marcel Dion record books, sixth in goals all time. And there's Jason Arnott. So really, if you open one box here, uh, then you're just looking for the rest of the 3D cards and the world's best in the case of these special series to finish off your set. Denis Savard. Here's a record books for Pat Lafontaine, who's one of my favorite players growing up. Eighth longest goal scoring streak all time. Tied. And there is Tony Esposito. We've got Haley Wickenheiser's base card. We've got the championship resume of Tim Horton. And Mario Lemieux. There is Geraldine Heaney. Our Mario Lemieux canvas insert. And Marty Biron, who... Uh, it's interesting calling him a legend, I guess. He's a good goalie. I don't know. He was a legendary goalie. Here is Becky Keller. A record book for Paul Coffey, sixth in assists all time, and Brad Park. Whoops. Mark Recchi, here's our second 3D, and it is Ray Bork when he won with the Colorado Avalanche. And then Vincent Donfus. That was another one of my favorite players growing up, even though I was not a Montreal Canadiens fan. It was his Team Canada play that had me on his side. Trevor Linden, and here is the championship resume, resume of Patrick Roy. An awful lot of Montreal Canadiens in this championship resume, I guess. Uh, here's Glenn Anderson. I guess leading the league in all-time Stanley Cups will do that to an insert. Here is Kevin Lowe. We got a record books of Haley Wickenheiser, first in points all time. And there is Bernie Federko. There's Dale Howarchuk. We have a trendsetter, Mario Lemieux. And Jaina Hefford. We've got Brian Leach, a canvas Stan Makita, that's a cool one, and Phil Housley. Here is Pat LaFontaine's base, the championship resume of Geraldine Heaney, 
and Sherry Piper. Here's Mark Howe, the record book for Ray Bork, fourth in assists all time. And Cassie Campbell. Here's Steve Larmer. The record book for Patrick Roy, second in wins all time. And France Saint Louis. We have Peter Stasny, the record book for Joe Sackick, who is ninth in points all time. And Mike Gardner. Here is Donnie Johnny Buchik, championship resume of Bernie Parent, and then Scott Niedermeyer. We have Theo Fleury, championship resume of Adam Graves, and Andy Moog. Martin St. Louis, a canvas card, Grant Fuhr, and Stevie Y. Brian Trottier, Ray Bork, trendsetter, and Kim St. Pierre. We'll start with Nancy Drolet, then a record book for Haley Wickenheiser which is a duplicate. Uh, yeah, first in points all time. And then Billy Smith of the New York Islanders. All right, Marcel Dion. Championship resume for Kim St. Pierre. And Sarah Valancourt. We have Larry Robinson, sorry, Larry Robinson, Ray Bork's record book, uh, which fourth in assists all time, I'm pretty sure that is also a duplicate, and Brendan Shanahan. We have Grant Fuhr, there's again the record book for Patrick Roy, so it looks like the record book is probably the most common insert. And Carolyn Willette. John Beliveau. There's Jaina Hefford's canvas. And Stan Makita. All right. I'm going to pull a few more from the back here, see if we can get at least one more of our 3D legendary celebrations but uh, either way we'll probably call it pretty soon because this video is getting a little long what I'll do is when I open the rest if I get any redemptions I'll come back and let you know there is Jennifer Botterell 
And here's the trendsetter for Al McKinnis. And Chris Jelios. We've got Timu Solani. Here's the record book for Wayne Gretzky. Let's see which record they chose. First in points all time. Okay, that's a pretty good record. Of course, we could probably make an entire insert series just of Wayne Gretzky records. And Ray Bork Space. Here is Wayne Gretzky's base, the championship resume of Frank Mahovlich. I think that's a duplicate as well. And there's Johnny Bauer. Here's Denny Potvin, record book duplicate Paul Coffey, and Wendell Clark. Might be the last time I like cheering for a Toronto Maple Leaf. Luke Robitaille. Haley Wickenheiser's record book again. I think the third copy. And Igor Larionov. Here is Shannon Sabados. Al McKinnis. Canvas. And then Rod Brindamore. Tim Horton, finally, base guard. Championship resume, Jacques Plant. I think we saw that already. And Bobby Hull. Here is Vicky Sonhara. Here's another copy of Ray Bork's record book. And Dougie. Hey, Dougie. What's your secret? Colleen Sestoritz. Sestoritz? Probably. Wayne Gretzky, trendsetters. And Chris Osgood. Here is Alex Tangay, another Patrick Water record book, and Paul Coffey. Feels like we're still pulling some base cards we haven't seen yet, so that's neat. Brian Bellows is a good example. And Sergei Zubov. Here's the championship resume of Brian Trache. And like I said at the start, Brian Bellows in a sweet, sweet Minnesota North Star jersey. Here we have Henri Richard, Haley Wickenheiser Canvas, and Peter Forsberg. And I think we're going to make this our last pack. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic. Oh, geez. Well, we got a last pack, doesn't want to open. If that counts for anything. There is Haley Wickenheiser's base. The record book, Joe Sackick. Ninth in points all time. I'm sure we saw that. And Mario, the Magnificent base. All right, guys. So we're going to call it there. I have probably as many packs to open as I've already opened here. Um, where I will hopefully find two or maybe if I'm lucky, three more uh, legendary celebrations. 
Um, but it's a pretty long video already, and you're going to start seeing only duplicates of the base and all these inserts. So it's probably not your, worth your time for me to open more on camera. What I will do, like I said, is if I open anything extraordinary, I'll come back and let you know. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like down below. If you like seeing someone open new sets of hockey cards before you have to buy some yourself, uh, just to give you an idea of what's going to be inside the packs that you're opening, please subscribe as well, and you will be informed every time I release a new video. I try and do at least one box of the majority of sets that are coming out. Uh, skip, you know, some of the more exorbitant. I guess the cup is the only series that I've skipped so far, so... Um, but any, you know, if several thousand dollars for one box, I'll probably be skipping it for now. Um, yeah, but if you want anything more common, I can give you a good review before you have to go spend that money yourself. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Until next time.